All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to go and we're going to download MetaTrader 4 on a MacBook computer, okay? It's going to be um, a little extra uh, work to be able to make it happen for a MacBook, but it should be no issue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into mtrading.com. And once we go into mtrading.com, we're going to go to platforms, okay? And then once we do that, you're going to click where it says download now and fill out the information, right? When it comes to um, the, uh, the country, the United States isn't on there, right? So you can pick any other country. I just picked the United Arab Emirates and then um, click I agree, no affiliate code and then click download. I literally just downloaded it myself, okay? So just completed. All right, so you'll double click that. And then once you do that, um, it'll go through, start verifying. All right, so as that's doing that, if anything, I'll, I'll look to see what's been going on recently. Oh, so here we go. Now it's just pulled up, all right? So we just double click this. And what's going to happen is it's going to uh, block you. <laughs> All right, it's going to block you. And that's okay. What's pretty interesting is on a PC, it just works out smoothly, very quickly. Okay, see? It blocks you. So what you got to do is just read what it says, right? Um, so what you have to do is you have to go to where it says system preferences, right? Um, I keep it like open like that for now, right? System preferences, and then from there, if you if you already clicked okay, that's perfect. That's no problem. All right, go to security and privacy, okay? And then you're gonna click on the lock right here. And then just put in your your information. Lock. Okay. So it unlocks it. Now, if I was to click where it says OK, then this pops up. If you already clicked OK, then it's all right. Then this is already there. All right. You want to click where it says Open anyway. May not work the first time, so you got to click it again until it opens. Okay. Keys in. Then it'll load up. Okay, so I clicked the open anyway. All right, now it's probably gonna take a, some time to open. And there it goes.
You'll be able to see it up there. Just take some time. Um, there you go. All right. So now, you're gonna have a screen that pops up like this, also like this. Let's just say that you, um, you're not using M Trading, which I doubt, right? You click on that, um, you see right here where it says add broker, right? You click on that green button right there and then just add the broker that you personally use. I use Trader's Way, TW space C-O-R-P, then click scan. Let's just say that you're using a different broker, then you just you know type in the broker that you're using, let's say J-A-F-X, right? And um, obviously this one has to load first and then you click scan and that one will load and blase, blase. Just make sure that uh, this is green, okay? Um, it may not work the first time. You may have to scan it again for it to work. Now, let's say that you're doing a live account and you just obviously click live on whichever one it is that you're using and then click next, right? And then from there, uh, put in the existing trade information um, trade account information. Uh, just make sure that you're putting in the right information, right? That's um, obviously key. Um, let's say that we wanted to just create a demo account Click next. And then from there, um, you'll just click where it says new demo account or existing demo account, whatever it is. You see where it says server demo. Make sure that if you're using a live, go to live. If you're using a demo, go to demo. All right. Um, I'm just going to click a, you know, a new demo for now. Click next, right? You'll fill out your information. Make sure first and a last name and then an email. All right, and then whatever. And you can be able to keep this the same, all right? Click I agree, next, all right? And then it's gonna pop up with this screen. What I would definitely suggest is to, anytime there's a screen, that um, something has uh, some login and password, just take a picture of it for your notes, click. And then once you take that picture, you can be able to put it into your phone so that whatever you do on your laptop, you can be able to see on your phone's MetaTrader 4, and you can be able to go into the next video and it will show you how to be able to uh, connect um, a computer with a, with a phone uh, using your account, okay? So just click finish with your account information, all right? And then at the bottom, so I don't know if you heard that, probably not, all right? But it's gonna call Incoming mail. Yeah, that, if, if that sound doesn't pop up, then you're not logged in, all right? We gotta make sure that your account number is up here, that this right here is like a green, you wanna hear that sound, all right? Um, you wanna see your name with the, the account information right there. And then also you wanna make sure that this is green and blue, okay? Right now, when it comes to these screens right here, I just make sure that I take out all of them except one. I just want to have one screen and just open that up. All right, it's like this because you just need to click, hold, drag to the middle, let go, and then you'll be able to see your screen. All right, now I have a template for PC users, I do not have a template for Mac users as, as for now. But maybe in the future I will. Most likely I'll, I'll have a, a second video that will explain um, a template that you can be able to receive. But for now, if you're using, um, which whatever you're using, right, go ahead and put it on here. But for um, for now, I would definitely suggest just erase anything that's on there. So you can right click or two finger the uh, whatever indicators that you're not using. I would definitely just make it a blank screen, right? If uh, especially if you're using market structure, just make sure it's a blank screen. Um, but let's say that you're using uh, this thing called the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo Cloud. Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. All right. Go to where it says insert and from insert, go to indicators. From indicators, go to trend. From trend, go to Ichimoku Kinko Hayo Cloud. Click. And what you really want to make sure is that the colors, right, are correct. Keep the parameters the same. Keep the, make sure that the colors, um, you would put the up Kumo to like a lightish green, right? And then the down Kumo, make sure that it's that red right there. Okay, this one and that one, all right? And then click okay, and then it'll pop up. What's very, very important is that these two buttons are clicked. 
this one right here, make sure that the, the, the page gets shifted. And then this one right here, make sure like if you were to scroll all the way this way, it'll automatically put you back, right? If I scroll, let go, it'll automatically go back, okay? All right, for the navigator, if you're not using more than one account, then just turn off, uh, you can just take this off. But if you are using more than one, you can be able to just drag this down and just have your, um, your accounts there. Me, I would just take it off if you're just using one account. Account history shows you what trades you did in the past. Trade shows you what trades are happening right now. I would definitely suggest to add all the pairs right here by clicking the right, uh, right click on your, uh, on your computer or, or, or two finger, right? Um, go to where it says symbols. From symbols, go to ECN and just add all of the pairs. Um, personally, make sure that in order. Personally, I do not um, use specific pairs um, like the Norwegian Krone. I do not use the Swedish Corner or the Turkish Lura or the South African Rand. I do not use, mostly because the spread is a little bit larger than I want it to be, and they just act a little different than the other pairs that I'm used to, okay? But if you'd like to add them, go right ahead, all right? So these I do not go with. All right, click close. And then I think you're, you're, you're all set. Make this, you know, um, as, make the screen as simple as possible. Don't put a whole bunch of indicators on there because it could be able to confuse you in the future. If this video has helped you, share it with somebody else that you believe that needs help when it comes to downloading MetaTrader on the computer. Um, like this, share this, comment if you have any suggestions on what we can be able to do as far as a future video in the future, all right? And um, if you need any help with anything else, let me know. Let me know if this video has helped you and uh, we're going from there. Speak to you soon and let's become an FX pro.